Hey there guys, Laser Game Dev here, and I welcome back. Uh hopefully we've got some cool stuff to look at today. And one of the first things I wanna do is have a look at Reddit. I always like scrolling through Reddit. I'm sure you guys do too. And one of the things I see every day is always just people asking questions. Like they're they're relatively simple, but people are new and that's fine, you know, we gotta learn somewhere. But a lot of tutorials out there tend to be quite long, you know, the information's in there, but it's surrounded by a bunch of other stuff. So what I wanted to do is just occasionally I'm just going to scroll through Reddit and just make some short videos that answer exactly the question that's being asked. So this gentleman here has been, he's got blueprints to demo so we can look at his code and that's great. Uh, if you are asking a question, we always want to see what you've done. Because I see some questions that are like, this isn't working and no one knows what they've done or how they've done it, so no one can answer the question. So he has got some replies, including one from me, but, you know, he'll have this video as well, I guess. And um, basically the problem is the it's not moving in the correct direction. If we look at this, like... It, it shoots out the front, but then he turns to a different angle and it's still shooting in that direction. So somewhere the rotation is wrong. Um, and there's 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 loads of ways you could fix this. But the one that I generally like to use and the one that's kind of guaranteed as well as the most precise is using the direction of the camera, right? Because um, the camera is the thing you directly control. Even if your character is slightly off-centered or like not quite finished rotating, you, you want it to be as precise as possible where the player is pointing, not necessarily where the mesh or the collider is is pointing. So let's have a look at that. I have this set up here. This is like an old game. Don't you can don't need to worry about all this. I'm gonna try and get it as close to the way it has it set up as possible. So if we have another look, we can see that it's in his character. Um, he has an animation blueprint which does X, Y, and Z, and then it does the function, and this is the actual function. So he's getting the mesh and the socket location, and he's making a transform out of it. That's great. You don't need to worry about the scale, though, um, and you don't need to necessarily make the transform. I tend to just split the pin here. You'll see that anyway. And yeah, we're just going to very simply remake this, but with one very minor difference, and it's quite simple. So we're going to my player. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff, but we'll just make a new graph so it's nice and fresh. And I'll say uh, input F because I've I've used other buttons, whatever. And what we'll do is we'll spawn. I made a projectile earlier. Um, spawn actor by class. No, from class. My bad. And I'm just gonna choose that projectile. If I could spell. Spelling is useful. Projectile. Okay. So it, it's quite a simple thing, right? We're just spawning a projectile. So the th first thing we want to know is the transform. This is the thing he's having the pr problem with. So if we right click this pin, we can, we can split it. And I find this is just a little bit cleaner than having an extra box. And we know the location. In this case, he's doing it from the socket, which is fine. I'm going to be really lazy and I'm just going to uh, make like a make like a, a scene thing and put it yeah there we go and i'm just gonna say right this is gonna be my location get a world location there we go pop that in there so he has this all set and this is fine he's spawning it from his socket on the mesh now it's the rotation that he's having an issue with and like i said i like to do it from the camera so we're literally just going to pull off from the camera we're going to get the forward vector and then we're going to make rotation from axis. And you can see that we have left and right, uh, uh, right and up, but we don't need those. We're just using the forward one. And we're going to pop that in there. And now if I go into my game and I press F, we shoot it in the direction of the camera. In this case, my character doesn't actually rotate with the camera, which is whatever, but there you go. Um, so yeah, you can shoot up if you want. You can shoot down. It will always kind of go exactly where the camera is pointing. Um, if you don't want it to go up and down, if you always want it to be level, like because of the, the way your game is made, what you can do is you can split this and you can split this and you can use the X and the Z, I believe. Let's try that. And then what that's going to do is it's going to ignore 
the up and down, but it's always going to go still in the direction of the camera. So uh, yeah, if you are having any issues with that, that's a thing you can do. Um, if you have any questions or anything else I can help with, let me know. Thank you very much, guys.